What's up guys, it's Dragon. It's time for another Nerf brand review. This is the Fortnite tie-in and these are really hit or miss, but I'm hoping that this one's okay despite being expensive. So I picked this one up for $31.50 over at Target with tax that puts you pretty close to 35 bones. Said and done, this is an SMG from Fortnite. This is specifically the Zesty Wrap, which is I guess the cosmetic in game. It says that it's a four in one blaster, which we recognize from the old Retaliator days as a, uh, you can either have a stock or a muzzle or neither or one or the other. Pretty, pretty Boolean in that way. Now, this one, as opposed to the previous SMG, which was electronic in nature, this one is a Springer, which means that you will not need to purchase additional batteries in order to utilize it. But we've got, you know, a muzzle attachment, the compact blaster itself, the priming slide, which looks uh, vaguely tactical, and then the stock attachment, which looks, you know, I mean, we're, we're getting some, some vague, very vague MP5 vibes from this guy of course that's uh mp5 if it had an nba sponsorship ad but let's go ahead and take uh it out of the package and see what we're working with inside oh no it's back the blaster smells bad Ugh. all right so right out of the package i can tell you that this guy is pretty simple it's basically a retaliator with some fortnite flavor on it which means that a lot of the focus is going to come down into the ergonomics the biggest issue that i can see right off the bat is that if you have even larger hands than I do. And realistically, this is a pretty comfortable grip. The angles on it are clearly designed for video game, I guess, similarities as opposed to the actual ergo comfort. But if you look, the trigger here pulls the slide back, which means that it's gonna have a few consistency hiccups. I don't, so it has slam fire, which is the reason that it's doing that. It just means that if things start wearing out and it's primed, you, it engaged that time, it's fine. It's just occasionally that sort of loosey-goosey slam fire means that you'll fire and it'll pull back a little instead of actually, you know, depriming and firing the blaster. That said, you've got built-in iron sights on the pistol itself. Again, not terribly impractical. It's actually pretty good considering the cartoonish uh, sort of vibes that you get from the Fortnite line. Then you've got this SMG style attachment. So you've got the suppressor, which clicks on. Normally, this says Fortnite or shh on the side of it, and this time it doesn't. So I actually kind of like that. I like this uh, this clean aesthetic to that. That means that this could be painted and added to another blaster possibly. This is probably the world's worst stock. Not only is it permanently sort of married to the aesthetic of this, but it's a generic in-strike stock that's just a little too small to do anything. Now that said, you know, I mean, we're going for the MP5 vibes and that's also a very small almost brace-like stock, but despite what the ATF might think of it, that is a, a comically small stock. And then you've got the traditional kind of cartoony 10 round here. Go ahead, prime, throw in and fire. And it seems to be a pretty standard Springer style blaster. That said, you know, I mean, it's not bad. If you're really into Fortnite and you want a retaliator style Springer blaster, I'm assuming that the internals are gonna be radically different, which will lessen your ability to use some of the aftermarket parts. But if you're an aftermarket part guy, you're probably not a Fortnite guy. And if you're a Fortnite guy, you probably don't care about making, you know, a prophecy out of this or what have you. So I'm sure some stuff is compatible. I virtually guarantee that the trigger is not. This area is a little bit cramped, which makes the mag release uh, action. I mean, it's definitely a tighter shell. You're not gonna get any sort of gravity drop. You could maybe mag flip it, but we'll take it outside. We'll put it over the chronograph. We'll shoot it down range. We'll let you know what we think. All right, guys. So we're out here with the Zesty, and I just want to kind of compliment Hasbro. I don't get that opportunity very often, but I, I find that the more I fool around with it, the more I aesthetically kind of enjoy the blaster. The fade from front to back is actually quite nice. And while Hasbro certainly is only giving you real paint on one side of the blaster, the fact that the fade is on both sides and consistent is actually quite nice. The silhouette is pretty good. It might not be the most comfortable silhouette or stock, but you know, that's the nice thing about the in-strike system is that you could throw a Raider stock or an AK stock or whatever you wanted to on the back of this bad boy. Overall, I think that it's, you know, it's a, it's a pretty handsome blaster and $30 isn't completely out of the realm of possibility for a Springer, particularly one with multiple accessories like this. Now, the performance has to match. Again, we're looking for a 70 FPS standard. That would be the elite standard. And uh, 59 is not that. 66. 60, 65. So it looks like this one's gonna be shooting a little light. We have three darts left. I just wanna get a quick baseline here. I've set the target at 20 feet. 
in an attempt to be as generous to elite darts as I possibly can be. This is the equivalent of your little brother hiding behind the couch on the other side of your living room. And we still, oh my goodness. Oh for three, uh, a perfect testament to why you should be buying you know, better ammo for your blasters pretty much the day you get them if you purchase them at a retail outlet that sells some of the uh, the dart zone blaster darts. Uh, I prefer the cheaper ones. However, these are, you know, just a good example and they fit the zesty theme. But these are, uh, I think, the old long dart zone pro darts. I've gone ahead and thrown them in a pro magazine so I could tell them apart. Putting those through the zesty, we're getting 58, 52, 63, 60. So relatively similar, I guess, FPS. I don't know how many are gonna be left in here. This is a 12 mag, it looks like I have five. And just to kind of drive the point home that you should expect more from your ammo. Even moving slowly, I think that that's a pretty clear cut example of why you should be expecting a little bit more from your, uh, from your ammo. So overall, again, I think that this is an okay pickup at $30. I think that it's great if you're a Fortnite guy and you really want the Fortnite Springer system. I think that not having to pick up batteries is excellent. I think that the, uh, the overall paint job and fade on it is quite nice. And I think more than anything, I, uh, I like that, you know, it, it's, it's just, it's not ridiculously overpriced. I think that if you're a Nerf guy or a Fortnite guy, uh, 30 bucks is a fair price to pay for a pseudo primary, and this definitely fits into that category. Now, a quick spring swap and, you know, rebarreling with or without the SMG attachment up here for the, the suppressor, and I think that you're good to go. So I, uh, I can give this one a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to pick up any of my products or uh, some of the products that I've mentioned in the video, you can check out the description box down below. You can also catch me on Twitch. I'm usually gaming most evenings. Much love. Blast on. Drac out.